Little guy, I've collected some samples of the flowers. Why? I want to know why Rosalia collapsed there. There's no guarantee that it will help us, but there's a chance we might learn something useful. Okay, it's worth a shot. Hmm, good. Thanks for the help. I want you to tell me about the blue flowers. That's what I'm saying. These are Asclepias. What are you saying? Asclepias doesn't have blue flowers. Yes, there are no known breeds of blue Asclepias. But from the shape and the structure, this is an Asclepias blossom. This flower shouldn't exist. What in the world is it then? Let's try sorting out the information we have. The blue flowers in the center of the field are Asclepias, just like the flowers surrounding them. Then why are the blue flowers only around the zone? The reason for this is most likely... That's right. Those flowers must have become discolored for some reason. A probable cause of that is... Indeed. Rosalia was shot through the heart. Rosalia would have lost a large amount of blood from the wound. That blood then seeped into oh. the ground beneath me. This miraculous blood, containing both the divine and the demonic. The flowers around her body absorbed Rosalia's blood from the soil. That, in turn, caused the flowers to take on this unnatural blue hue. Oh. I don't want to believe it, but that's the conclusion that I have. These allow us to finally figure everything out. It's no coincidence that Rosalia's body was surrounded by these blue flowers. They were normal red flowers until she died. When she died, her blood soaked into the ground. The Asclepias flowers absorbed her blood and changed color. Most likely what caused the color change in the flowers was... It's all the evidence. That's right. The demon within Rosalia's veins lived on after her death, finding another viable host in the blue Asclepius flower. I can't believe it. How could such a thing? It may be unbelievable, but it is the truth. The corpse itself is a testament to that. The corpse? Yes. Remember, Rosalia's corpse had turned completely into adiposia. Adiposia normally occurs when the bacteria that break down bodies do not multiply for some reason. This normally occurs when the corpse is stored in anaerobic conditions for long periods of time. But this is hardly an anaerobic location. The reason her body became adipose here was not due to environmental or weather conditions. It was because the virus within her continued to protect her body. But even if the blue are harboring the virus, how does that connect to the pandemic going on right now in America? It's impossible. You're right. The Rosalia virus is only passed on via contact with the mucous membranes. Even if this entire field was filled with flowers holding the Rosalia virus, it wouldn't be able to cause the outbreak in Portland, over 3,000 kilometers away. Wow. There was a vector. A vector? Yes. Some method of transmission that carried the virus from these flowers. This is how the virus spread to cause the infections in cities hundreds of miles away from them. Huh. What? Can't you tell? It's... That's right. The butterflies that led us here carried the virus. The monarchs are the vector for the Rosalia virus. This is how the Rosalia virus has spread. Conclusion reached. Dr. Kimishima, can I bother you for a moment? Mm -hmm. Yes, what is it? You might not need this anymore, but I reconstructed another voice file. Another one? I thought you'd said that you prepared the model. Yes, this file was actually marked as having been deleted. It still exists in the memory, though, so I was able to reconstruct it. I see. When is that recording from? From looking at the date, it's right before Albert lost his vanity. All right. Still, it's unusual for you to go and do something unnecessary like this. Yeah, well, I'm not sure how to put this. I felt this was something that I needed to pass on to you. Okay. 
I'll try listening to it. Please do. It'll be final record of four. <laughs> Familiar is her sister. Clemens is the investigator's family as siblings. Rosalia fled the room, trying to escape. The blood on the glass shard is from her stepping brother. She ran in desperation, but this prevented her escape. That's right. Albert stood in the doorway and shot her. The bullet pierced Rosalia's leg, and she collapsed. Albert caught up with the frightened girl as she lay there. And then... Yes, he ended her life. But Albert didn't kill Rosalia as he wanted to. He truly loved Rosalia as he would his own daughter. 
but he had no choice but to kill her. This part shows the reason why. Albert had been infected with the Rosalia virus. However, this virus does more than infect the body. It eats away at the heart and soul, as in my other cases. Because Albert knew of the virus's threat all too well, in order to exterminate it, he killed his own child. And yet, ironically, he may have caused the exact opposite. The blood spilling from the gunshot wound in her chest provided the Rosalia virus with a new host. This was the true cause of the spreading infection. Yes, the blue Asclepius flowers around her body grew in Rosalia's blood and became a new host for death. And so, the mass infection began. A certain organism served as a vector for the virus. Monarch larvae store toxins of the plants that they ingest. The monarchs carrying the Rosalia virus migrated north, and as they went, they showered death in golden scales. This is the truth behind how the virus spread. Rosalia never. Neither did Albert. No one intended for it to end this way. One sought an end to all disease, and the other his success. But that was the beginning. The evil sealed in Rosalia gained wings and flew. Rosalia's last word. This is the whole truth, illuminated by the light of life. You must have suffered too. Let's end. We don't have much time. We still have a job to do, and we must accomplish it. Hey, wait! Behave! How's it coming, Agent? Did you find anything? We've got the power back on, as you can see. The rest a pile of records, chemicals, and equipment. You? It's all been solved. A bear saw it kill Rosalia. How sad. This effort to save the world is close to killing it. Yes. He must have realized the virus couldn't be used. That is what caused this tragedy to strike. So, did you find a countermeasure to the virus? Yes. The virus's vector is the monarchs. The scales they lose during migration are spreading it. Don't tell me. The quarantine failed because... The monarch migration pattern extends from Mexico to Lake Erie. Even if the virus isn't airborne, it will still spread. Damn it! What should we do then? Naomi, 
I gathered as much as I could. Flowers? What are you planning on doing? I'll use antibody stabilizers to extract mantis meat. You can do that? Yes. Thankfully, this facility has the necessary equipment. Violet just used the ambulance as a guy. Violet just used the helicopter as a guy in flower babes. Alright. Just tell me what to do to help you. Why don't you just use the helicopter as a guy in flower babes? Let's get this over with as fast as we can. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next time on Trauma Team, we will be doing Despair. See you guys then.